Hello, Christian here, and uh, today I'm going to be doing my Anime Expo 2018 haul video, show you what I got there at the convention. So let's not delay it any further, let's just get right, get right into it. So right here we have the uh, Persona 5 Dancing Star Knight bag, and uh, it's a bag you get for free if you buy something at the Atlas booth in the exhibit hall. So, as you can see, on one side you have Joker and his crew, the Phantom Thieves with Persona 5, Dancing Star Knight on one side. And on the other side you got Yuki and his crew in Persona 3, Dancing in Moonlight. And, uh, yeah, like I said, you get it for free if you buy something at the Atlas booth. And you just carry all your stuff around the convention center. It's nice that Atlas throws that in. So, yeah, I got that from them and for the contents of what I bought at their booth I bought a couple things I bought shirts so I bought this shirt it is I've already opened it because I wanted to wear it to the con it's a whole bunch of Morganas so I thought it was pretty cute just a lot of Morganas and different poses and different facial expressions and then I bought uh, this shirt it's for Persona 5 animation. It's Joker and Morgana. And has like this little like foil to it. So you, it like goes, it doesn't go in the dark, but like it's shiny. It's pretty cool. I like that one. And I got one more. I got this one. It's just Morgana in his uh, Persona 5 dancing Star Knight uniform. The crown and the gold foil as well. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was pretty cute. So excited by that. And then I got a couple of trinkets. I got a couple keychains. So first one is from Persona 3 Dancing in Moonlight. It's two separate keychains. On one side you have Yukari in her Dancing Star Knight uh, uniform. And then on the other side you got uh, Mitsuru. So it's just two separate keychains, but Mitsuru and Yukari for one set. And then on the other, the other two I got uh, Igis. For one set, and then on the other side, it's uh, I keep saying Futaba, uh, Fuka. Sorry, it's been a long four days. So Fuka, Aegis, Yukari, and Mitsu for all four different keychains. And then uh, I had to get these because these are so cool. These are pins. So these are Persona Five Dancing Star Knight official uh, pins. They have the little like uh, shimmer or sheen to them for with their respective colors. I think it was pretty pretty neat, so I decided to get those. Probably put them on my bag or something. And then um, with a uh, purchase of like, if you purchase a certain amount, they give you the Persona Five art book. I have this art book already, so I'm probably gonna give this one away. It comes with a special edition if you bought the premium the premium edition of Persona Five like uh, last year or was it last year? Twenty yeah, twenty seventeen. Sorry. Yeah, if you bought the special edition, you got this. And then they also throw in the Shujin Academy school bag, which I also got with the premium edition. So I thought it's pretty nice that they, they give this away as treats and goodies for when you spend at the Atlas booth. So yeah, that's what I got the Atlas booth. Um, I'll move on to the Faku booth. So every year I go to Faku, because why not? And uh, this year, I decided to buy a couple of goodies as well. I bought this long sleeve shirt. Uh, it's from Faku. It's a collaboration with Four Eyes. If you don't know who he is, he does some pretty dope work, dope artwork. He made my jacket, or he did. He designed the jacket last year, which I bought as well at his booth. So he did another collaboration with Four Eyes. He said, or with with Faku. Four Eyes did another collaboration with Faku. And he did uh, this long sleeve, which I think is really cool. So I decided. Decided to cop that, and then I also got this shirt. Um, I opened it because I wanted to wear it to the convention. Um, it's a hen with a tie. So, yeah, a hen with a tie. I'll, I'll, I'll stop. But yeah, I think it's really funny. And then of course, whenever I go to Faku, I always like to buy a manga. So I bought this one. I'm not gonna show it for obvious reasons. It's let your smile bloom, um, by Akin. Let me see the Akino Akino Sora. Uh, I always choose manga based off the uh, art, so I 
I know I should choose off the author, but I I just go in there. I'm like, oh, it looks cool, so I decided to buy it. So that's the that's the only that's the second one I bought this year. So yep, and then um, of course with every purchase or every purchase at the Faku, you get a Faku lanyard. So yeah, that's nice. And then um, I went to the uh, Lumica booth over here, and I bought the Lumica sticks. Because this year, I went to uh, Anasong World Matsuri and got to saw M.A. and Sayuri and Mayan. And uh, it was really fun. The crowd was there. The crowd there was so hyped for everybody. It was it was loud. It was fun. It was just a great time all around. So, yeah, I bought the Lumica Sticks. And along with the Lumica Sticks at the Microsoft Theater. Or not. I bought these separately at the uh, exhibit hall. But at the theater where the concert was, I bought the Anasong World Matsuri t-shirt. Uh, it has the Anasong or Matsuri logo, and then on the back it has the artist that performed at the uh, at the theater. So just a good, you know, just a good souvenir to have, so that I it, just to like I said, just to have because uh, it was a great concert. And then last but not least, or I got a couple more things. I got this poster. I'll probably it's a little hard to unroll, so I'll probably show a picture of it. It's uh, a poster from Boom Slank. I'll show you. Right here, Boom Slank. He's the uh, he's the artist that uh, draws all these original work. Gets his inspiration from like comics wave films, the people that make Kimi no Nawa and um, uh, what is it? Kimi no Nawa, uh, you know, that type of I would say almost like uh, Boy and the Beast, G Girl Who Left Through Time, uh, uh, Wolf Children type art. So he drew these for me. I got these uh, my first year of Anime Expo 20. 2016 and I asked him to sign it I finally got the chance to frame them because I thought they were absolutely adorable and, and clean so this year I needed one more for my for my wall so I decided to get this one and I asked him to sign it as well he was there uh, fortunately he was fortunately he was there so I asked him to sign it and he did and I completed my uh my set of three from him and yeah, I, and I, I think it's pretty nice. So I got that. And then last but not least at the uh, exhibit hall, I picked up, of course, this cutie right here. Um, it's uh, Onodera, of course. Uh, day one. Always day one. Forever will be day one. She's so cute. She's wearing her casual clothing. Probably thinking about uh, when she ran into Raku or something. I don't know. But Onodera has always been day one. I mean, I love I love the Nisiko series. I I I have them. I so this this was a must. I mean, that's the that's the the day one. Okay. The wife. So yeah, that's all I bought from the uh, exhibit hall. So I'll move on to artist. Oh no, actually, I'm lying. I I bought one more thing from the exhibit hall. How could I forget? So what I bought, uh, my biggest purchase of Anime Expo this year was my first statue, and I wanted to go big. This year, so I bought this beauty right here. This is from uh, Koto Bukia, the the sculptor or the sculptor, the sculpt uh, distributor. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, Ko Koto Bukia, and it's Nero uh, from Fate. Uh, you can she's from everything. She's from Fate Extra, Fate uh, Grand Order, but yeah, I bought myself the Umu Queen. She is my favorite character in the uh in Fate. Um so cute, so clean too, so crisp. Uh the stand is actually like that and I wanted to get something to you know, mark my just to, to put on my shelf and I needed a statue and I decided I'd get Nero because Nero is the best. So yeah, I got her. The Uma Queen over here. Uh, she's so cute. I'm I'm so happy that I bought this. It, it was like I was looking for a good statue. I was looking for a, a good statue for quite a while, and I was like, finally, I'll just pick one up at Anime Expo. So yeah, I got say uh I got Nero. I'll probably do another separate unboxing of this later, but uh, I got Nero. It's really big. So for scale, this is my hand. My hand's pretty big, so it's ridiculously huge. One seventh scale. Uh, I probably don't even know how I'm gonna put it on my shelf. To be to be honest with you, but yeah, I got Nero, and yeah, that's all I got from the uh, exhibit hall. So I'm gonna move on to Artist Alley. 
I got a couple things from Mars Alley, not too much. I got a, some keychains, and I'll show you. I already put them on my keys, because, uh, why not? So, my first keychain I got is this one. It is Hoaxai, and she's eating takoyaki, because she's a squid, or something. I don't know, but I think it's just cute, because I am um, is there, and she's eating takoyaki. It's so cute. I thought it was, it's just can't pass that up and it's really hard to find hoax eye stuff at the convention center to, or at the artist alley to be honest like not very many booths are selling her stuff so i had to pick that up and then i got eddie eddie shikigawa so i bought eddie chan because eddie's so cute too and i like the art here and then, like i said with hoax eye it's so hard to find eddie stuff like you can't find her anywhere anywhere too so i picked this up double side keychain just like hoax eye and yeah uh, I love these two from Figa. Uh, so these two and Nero are are my top three characters. Uh, I don't know. I I don't really have a particular order, but uh, these are my three. I love them all. So yeah, I decided to pick that up. And then last but not least, I got this. So I visited Captain Senpai. If you don't know who she is, there's her information. Go check her out. She's freaking amazing. I, I can't believe the things that she does. Or her team. I don't know if it's just her or if she has a team. But last year I went to Anime Expo and I picked up those. Those are uh, Persona 5 mask pins. And they're high quality. Like almost to, almost the same level of quality as the Atlas pins that they actually sell at the Atlas booth. But in the artist alley. And I'm just thinking to myself, how does someone make those? I don't even know like... How they even, like, how can they make those and sell those cheaper than the actual pins at Alice? They're so good. So last year she made, uh, she made Fox, Panther, Skull, and uh, Joker's Mask. And I was really, uh, I was really sad because she didn't make the rest of the, the team. But lo and behold, this year, my wish was finally granted and I picked them up as fast as I could. So, Morgana. I got, yeah, Morganas, I got Futabas, uh, or Oracle, or Navi, depending on where you're from. I got Haru, I think Haru's is really nice, it has like the, like the glitter to it, like wow. And then I got, of course, uh, there you are, Queen Makoto. So yeah, I got the rest of the team. And uh, I'm I'm so glad that I did because I'm so glad that she made them and that uh, she she sold them this year because I I was hoping that you know that I was hoping she would because those were really those were really popular uh, last year so thank you uh, Captain Senpai for making them um, I didn't pick up a catchy because you know Ketchy's a traitor and he should go eat his pancakes spoilers but uh, <laughs> yeah uh, I picked these up. And then, uh, uh, I'm just so glad that she made them. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I, uh, Artist Alley. So, Artist Alley, I got, like I said, the, uh, the Captain Senpai pins for Persona 5. I got the Hope Sai and Eddie, uh, Chan logo, or, uh, keychains for, for Artist Alley. And then for, um, the Exhibit Hall, I got, uh, like I said, I got Nero. I got the Faku stuff. Onodera. Uh, Atlas Booth, Lumica, and Boom Slime. And then, um, I just, these aren't really that important, but I got a, these lanyards from Anaplex. You pretty much, like, roll for them, and I wanted to get as many as I could because I had a lot of time. But yeah, Anime Expo was such a great, uh, experience. Make sure you go next year. Make sure you go because the Anime Expo is just so fun. You got to experience it for yourself, and I can't really say much unless you go to it. It's so, so great. But yeah, go go have some fun. Go buy some merch. Go meet some great people. Have a great time. And yeah, that's my haul. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace.